the urban locals were from Việt Nam. I'm Nghi. I'm Thanh Hà. I'm Thư. I'm Khang. I'm Phương Linh. Phương Anh. You're probably wondering what exactly is that and why are there so many rules and traditions to it. Here's an extremely quick rundown of what that is for people who don't know yet. That is basically Vietnam's largest and most important holiday for the people. It extends about a week to two depending on the area or the person or the family and it's the opportunity for people to wear brand new clothes and or extremely vibrant traditional garments like Ao Yai to meet up with their closest and distant families to show off, give gifts, wish each other good health, happiness, riches and also for children to make lucky money and for people to spend time with their families surrounding a feast that takes days to prepare. Number one, avoid swabbing the house on the first day of Tet. This prohibition was explained by an old Chinese fable published in the Book of Gods. According to a legend, a mechanic named Wu Men while traveling through Tan Tao Lake was entrusted to a servant by the water god named Yu Nguyen who brought home a few years later after which Wu Men gained a fortune and his family became very wealthy. Men beat Yu Nguyen one day on the first day of the new year for some unexplained reason. She was too terrified to hide among the garbage in the corner of the house. Wu Men's wife after that didn't notice it so she swept the house scoop out a heap of garbage and dump it with new milk inside. Woman's family has fallen back into poverty since then. It is said that New Milk is a deity of wealth who erected an altar to worship him. Since then, there has been a custom of not swapping the homes or picking up rubbish on the first day of the year in order not to mistakenly take away the god of prosperity. Money is considered luck and prosperity in Vietnamese tradition. Instead, giving children money, known as lucky money, means wishing them luck and growth. In contrast, letting money turns out to be giving away luck, since you do not know when the money is returned. The same notion also applies to the act of borrowing money, since you are actually borrowing someone else's luck, therefore burdening yourself with money matters. Much of Vietnamese beliefs revolve around uncertainty, so if something is uncertain, likely it's going to be a bad luck. So the next time you borrow your friend $20 for a date night, you better not return it during the TED holidays. Hi, so the third thing that you shouldn't do on TED is wearing black or white clothes. Here are the reasons why. For black, it's associated with negativity and bad luck. People want to attract as much luck, wealth, health, uh, vitality, joy, and just overall greatness in the span of those few days so that the year will go just as the days go. This is why you don't actually see a lot of people wearing black in that, on that, just because it's bad luck. In a lot of families, it's also customary to wear traditional clothes like Ao Yai in traditional colors like red, yellow, blue or other colors that are vibrant. And another color aside from black that some people still believe is bad luck is white. Although there are a lot of white Ao Yais, um, in that people also avoid using this color or dressing in white. It's because according to some folk uh, some folk opinion, white represents death and mourning, so because they don't want that in the year, they avoid wearing white. It's a very old belief, but some people still take it into consideration when buying new clothes or dressing up for that, just in case it's true and bad luck rolls around in the year. So yeah. Hello and welcome to the fourth taboo in Tet holidays. In Tet holidays, most people would usually stay clear of arguments. Undoubtedly, this is one of the things that we should avoid. Not just on Tet, but on any holidays. Not only does it ruin the atmosphere the whole day, affect other people and their mood, but 
Um, in Vietnam, there's an old saying that has been passed from generations to generations. Saying, a bad beginning makes a bad ending. People often try to keep peace and not argue no matter how uncomfortable they feel. Adults avoid yelling at children. Children avoid crying to stay safe and happy for the new year. With the concept that at the beginning of the year, quarrels will be quarreled throughout the year, having an argument on the very first day of the new year surely doesn't sound too good. People certainly believe that at the very first day of the year, if you bring negativity, negative effects and emotions and feelings to other people and to even to yourself, that negativity will follow you until the year ends and surely it will affect your daily life, your business, your jobs, your relationships and people believe that will ruin everything. So, no matter how angry you are, you should train yourself, grab some water, relax and fortune will come. Okay, so the next thing on the list of avoiding things on Tet Holiday is avoid breaking things. So, there are a lot of arguments and different opinions around this topic, but traditionally, broken things like broken or chipped dishes and cups is always considered as bad luck. Not just on Tet Holiday, but the whole 365 days of the year. Broken or chipped dishes and cups on the first day of the year are considered unlucky because the whole family may be fractured and unpeaceful in the new year. Our ancestors were very averse to breaking dishes, cups, and mirrors on the first day of the year because that break is a sign of separation which is not favorable in relationships in the new year. However, there are some opinions that say that it is not a big deal to accidentally break things. You just need to carefully sweep the debris and everything will be fine. Indeed, according to Feng Shui expert Nguyen McLean, the director of the Academy of Feng Shui, five elements shared with VN Express, the custom of abstaining from breaking cups and bowls in the new year is to remind people to be careful in their actions and words at the first day of the year. Hard things that you shouldn't do to avoid bad luck on Ted Holiday in Vietnam. And here's the last one. So, firstly, I want to ask you guys a little question, and you just have to guess it. So, what do you think Vietnamese people should abstain from on Ted Holiday? Do we have to abstain from using water, or do we have to abstain from using fire? Let me know your answer. Five, four, one and the correct answer is both of them. On that holiday, Vietnamese people should abstain from giving water and giving fire to the other, and this is a very important abstain for all people. Here's the reason: currently, fire and water are believed to symbolize wealth and luck. So, like if you give fire to someone else, you that means that you give them your all luck, and you won't be able to your money and luck throughout the year. Similar to water, which is often referred to as a source of wealth and a source of health, and Vietnamese folk say that money enters like water. So if you give water, you will lose your luck, you will lose your money, and you will lose the fortune for the whole year. There is also a very interesting custom of hiding water carriers on the, mor on the morning of Tet. So the water lender are also left and both the landlord and the tenant of the year will be lucky. So and then the end of six things you shouldn't do to avoid bad luck on between set holiday. And thanks for listening. Bye bye!